Jay Sauce. Hey, Boos, how are y'all doing? I'm doing great. I have not been vlogging in forever. Um, it's just been a lot of stuff that's been going on. I've been busy, busy, busy with the kids and my husband and doing some stuff with um, with natural hair and just been busy. So I'm at work, but not at work. I'm here in the parking lot waiting for the doors to open so I can get into my office. But so nobody's here yet as usual. <laughs> But I'm rocking a puff. Been rocking this puff for the past three days now. Um, so it, I don't need to wash it or co-wash. I don't think I need to co-wash because I hadn't really put anything in it except Jehovah Oil and the um, LK Natural um, Aloe Berry Styling Gel. That's all I've been doing is, you know, putting it around out here and brushing it up and putting it in the ponytail and that's it. Um, I had ordered a Snappy, hashtag not sponsored. I did order a Snappy. Um, it's supposed to come today, and I'm going to try it out on my head and see how it does because I just got a normal hair rounder, and, like, my hair's done got tangled up in it, and I done tore some of my hair done came out. But I had heard so many great things about Snappy, so I said I was going to try it. It's pretty much like an elastic um, um, hair bow that doesn't tangle up your hair, and it has a snap to it. And so you can, like, however tight you got your hair, you can just unsnap that and it's able to come out. And you don't have to worry about your hair, fall, you know, being torn out by the um, your hair bow. But um, let's see. Let's, t let's talk about some things. There's a lot of stuff that's been going on. First off, um, I did, I helped Allocate Naturals with an in-store event in Durham, North Carolina. Um, we was at a beauty world, like the third biggest beauty world that's in North Carolina, I believe. It is huge. Like, I'm going to put some pictures up of our, me and um, the other girl that was working with me, Tiffany. Like, we had a great time. It was a great turnout. I wanted it to be like a multitude of people there, but unfortunately, it wasn't as, like, huge, huge like I wanted it, but I'm grateful for what who came because a lot of people did not know anything about Allocate Naturals. So giving them that education that they needed and education about their natural hair because they didn't really know what to do, that really helped out a lot. So I'm praying that, you know, the people that are in that area will go there and definitely um, get the um, get the, sub, the products, the great products. Like Allocate Naturals is the best. But um, so I did that which was awesome. I can't wait to do more. I so want to do some more. Um, you can see, I'm just, it seemed like I'm just homey, just chilling at the house. I had to be comfortable today. For some, so for some reason, it's like me wearing like tights and a t-shirt and like wearing my husband's jacket. Um, it's just, I just have to be comfortable at all times. I don't know why. Like, I just, when I'm wearing, like, my regular clothes, like, my jeans, my shirts and stuff, like, I just feel so uncomfortable. So, now I have to wear this just to feel comfortable. Not meaning that I'm pregnant or anything, because I'm not pregnant. I just, I don't know. I just, I just like to feel comfortable. So, I did go this morning, and I got me some Panera. I had got the caramel latte, hashtag not sponsored. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> But I got the caramel latte. I have not tried this hot, and I'm going to wait until I get some. And I always get my um, my bacon, egg, and cheese um, on a cinnamon crunch bagel. Oh, my goodness. Y'all need to try that. I'm telling you. It is thebomb.com. It is. But um, what else? I had received, yesterday I received a letter. If you don't know, now you about to know, booze. Um, I was diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome in 2014. Um, and so I had a lot of issues that went on. I want to do, a a vlog about it and just talk about like, really just share my testimony of like the struggles of having PCOS and like our miracle baby that came to me or it was doubled. But, um, to talk about that, I really want to do that, but I got to find some time, some quietness when it's quiet in the house so that 
I can actually sit down. I want to sit down with my husband because none of y'all have seen my boo. I got one, I got maybe like one vlog or maybe two vlogs that may have, you may have seen him, but I really want him to, you know, to sit down and talk and stuff too. But he's like camera shy and he's shy around people. Don't know why, but he is. I don't know how he is a trooper and <laughs> he, and he is shamed. Like he talks to people every day. Like, I don't know how he can't talk to y'all. Like, he can talk to y'all. But, um, anywho, I had got a letter, uh, email, and it was from the, um, PCOSchallengeorg.org, um, and the ad, doing our advocacy day travel and, um, logging information. Um, so pretty much they're going to have... They, they um, asked him, I'm just read the, I'm just read it to you, the email. It says, Dear Amber, we are in need of more people from NC to attend the PCOS Advocacy Day on Capitol Hill on May 17th. NC congressional members sit on some key committees and caucuses crucial to our PCOS legislative advocacy efforts. So basically, um, it's on it's on a Wednesday and a Thursday, May 16th, May 17th, and um, pretty much they are wanting me um, to come and share my story, educate members of Congress about PCOS, and make the case of why more must be done now to advise PCOS research and care because we really do need that research and care because like there is no cure for PCOS it's basically PCOS is a hormon a hormonal deficiency where like our hormones are all over the place and like you have insulin resistance like me I'm insulin resistant and in, in which like my body's not telling that I'm telling me that I'm producing the right you know enough insulin and it's pushing more insulin and it's just it's just a lot and so I deal with acne which I have you know I have acne really bad I, I've always suffered so I'm thinking that I had P PCOS since I was a teenager because that's like when I hit my teenage years is when like my acne got real bad and so I still struggle with acne um like the hairy arms and legs yes so I'm very self-conscious about um, my arms and my legs and stuff like that. Um, and so I had a story. I am going to share that later on. It's a little emotional, so I don't want to be emotional right now. So I'm just going to, you know, do what I got to do. But uh, I will go into that later because now I'm starting to think about it. <laughs> but, um... Every, I think everything is going good. Um, I want to go. I do want to go. I do want to do that. So hopefully, um, I will. I have talked to my aunt, and I told her because she stays, like, very close to Washington. And so I was wanting to stay with her and be able to go to this two-day event. So hopefully I will, and then maybe can do some vlogging then. But I really, really want to go because I do want to talk to Congress and I, Congress members, and I do want to tell them about it. So, um, it's time for me to go to work, finally. I got somebody here, so I don't know if she got the keys to open the door so I can get in my office. I don't know. But, it is Friday. Have a great weekend. Enjoy yourselves. I love you all, booze. Please subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. Um, like it. Hit that notification bell. Excuse me. Bell. So that whenever I do post something, that you'll know that I post something. About time and girl post something. But I love y'all. I appreciate the ones that are, um, that's are, you know, that are subscribed to my channel. And the ones that are new and just, you know, viewing it. You know, I really appreciate it. And tell more people because I would love to, you know, have more people come in and just see me. Because if more people, I can branch out and talk to more people about different things. But I love y'all. Have a great weekend. Be safe. Be breezy. Peace.